Hi, I'm Jane Wilde, and I am Holly Randall's Bombshell of the Month. My hobbies, I don't really have that many hobbies and it's kind of something that I've been struggling with because I really want to get more hobbies so I'm not bored. Um, but I would say as of now, my hobbies are like playing with my dog, <laughs> hiking, the basic stuff, you know, going to the beach, hanging out with friends, music, um, like art, yeah. <laughs> Scout is, he's great. I decided last year after the first few months of the COVID-19 pandemic that, well, I lived alone and I was really, you know, feeling the loneliness and the void. So I got it in my head that I wanted to get a dog of my own because um, we had a family dog when I was younger, but he was a little bit aggressive. So I never really got that full dog experience. So I started researching on what breed would be good for me. And I found, you know, the perfect breed. And then I was able to get in touch with someone who could give me Scout. And yeah, I just, I bit the bullet and I was like, let's just, let, talking to myself, I was like, let's just do it. So I got him in August of last year and now he's 10 months old and He's just such a sweet, good boy, and he's he's like my best friend. Um, I've just gained so much from from having him in my life. It's really just been such a, a journey with him. I love him. It's made me be like much more responsible because beforehand I would just you know if I didn't have anything to do I would stay in bed all day and be really unproductive and then end up feeling really bad about that. But now it's like I have the motivation to get up every day and do something because I have to. I have to walk him, I have to feed him, I have to play with him. And it makes me enjoy life more and it makes me enjoy like doing those things more. I don't really have a crush on any celebrities because I realize you never really know who they are as a person. And I think you, that's an important part of having a crush on someone is their personality. But I would say like, in terms of like attractiveness, God, there's so many. Um, <laughs> this is hard, this is a lot of pressure. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal is my celebrity crush because he's just, Really dreamy. Oh my goodness, my guilty pleasure. Um, I guess like pop culture and like celebrity news because it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, like these people's little dramas and lives, but I just find it like so fun and fascinating to like delve in and really, um, just like get lost in the sauce. My greatest fear is probably either death or other people dying and having to live without them. And it's my biggest fear because it's like, it's not irrational, it's so real. And it happens like every day to people in horrible ways. So I try not to think about it because it's inevitable, but. I like to enjoy life in the moment. <sighs> the greatest lesson that life has taught me, I mean, as a 22 year old woman who hasn't lived that much life, but I've lived enough to, I guess, realize that um, if you just, you know, keep going, even if things are going really bad right now, just like keep trying and keep pushing along and they will eventually be better than they are right now. Like it's not gonna be perfect, life is not perfect, um, but things will get better. And that's what I've had to realize. I've had some really low moments where I was just like, this sucks, fuck this shit. I don't wanna live like this anymore, but things always did get better. Um, I'm pretty basic when it comes to dates. I really haven't been on that many dates in my life um, yet, 
but I would say a perfect first date would be like going to dinner or lunch, whatever, just food in general. Um, and then doing something fun where you can bond with someone and get to know them. Not a movie, because movies are just quiet time. My biggest dream in life is that's hard. It's hard to nail down. I don't think I have like one specific dream that I want to come true. I guess just to to be like fulfilled, like whatever I do, just to feel like content with it and be like, I'm happy. I don't want to be doing anything differently. That would be really nice. This is something that I've like changed my mind about. I used to be really way more open to it, um, but I've had some like scary instances where people would not leave me alone and I don't even think they were fans, but I just would not want anybody to approach me in like a casual setting. I'm a very like private person. I really like to keep to myself, especially in public. My favorite thing about modeling is getting to get all done up and look so pretty and beautiful and getting these beautiful photos captured by, you know, the best people at their job. Um, the part that I don't like as much is sometimes you have to like contort your body in a really weird way um, and you get sore at the end of the day. Wow, I was really arching my back for a few hours, <laughs> but it's always worth it. I love this question. Um, so everybody who knows me or is a fan of me, <laughs> they know how much I love the artist Lana Del Rey because, well, everything about her kind of inspires me like creatively, her music, her looks, her, what is the word, femininity? That's not a word. That is a word, okay, yeah. Just like her feminine vibes and her vintage vibes and just everything, it makes me wanna like make a movie or like do a photo shoot or just, you know, be beautiful. And yeah, she's been a big influence on me in like trying to find my style and like how I like to be captured on camera. So always looking to her and her music and I just really like the, I really feel inspired by like vintage things, like different eras, like the 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, and basically everything up until now has just inspired me. Um, I guess if I could go to any era, it would be, it's so hard. I wanna say like the 70s just because Things were really funky back then. And I would say like fashion wise, 70s is definitely my favorite era. Like if I could dress like how people just did every day all the time, like now people would say, why are you dressed like, you know, all funky and bell bottoms and like a sweater vest. But I don't know, it's what I like. And I just feel like maybe I'm wrong cause I wasn't there, but I feel like things were a lot more like laid back then, like chill. Maybe people watching this will know better than me, but yeah, 70s for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this little interview and getting to know me a bit better. And I hope you guys enjoy all the content we're gonna shoot for you today for my bombshell of the month shoot. And you can see it all on Holly's website. <laughs>